Hi there, students. If we say something is done and dusted, we say we have finished it completely. It's ready. There is nothing more to do. Okay? It's done and dusted. Dusted. You've taken the dust off. This dusted implies that you've done the final little touches to finish off, and there's nothing left to do. Okay? So, an activity or an event or uh, a project or maybe a p piece of business, when it's been done, and normally it needs to be completed successfully and completely finished, then it's done and dusted. I delivered the goods to the client, he's paid me, and I'm home. That deal's done and dusted. Okay? Now for the next one. I finished one class, that's done and dusted, but there's still another one to go, okay? So, done and dusted, yeah? Completely finished and successfully. So what about the origin of this? Well, this one's interesting. I read that this was um, to do with the world of writing and fountain pens and ink. And in the old days, when you used to write with the ink, and it was still wet, then you'd put powder, you'd dust powder on it to dry the ink and stop it from smudging. Later on, people used blotting paper as well. So, done and dusted. But I also noticed that somebody said this, this phrase wasn't used until 1959. And I think 1959 is very late for that type of pen. I always thought that this phrase came from the idea that it was finished and it was gathering dust, yeah? Um, there was nothing more to do, and that was the idea. Or maybe it's the idea of a busy housewife who's done her work and dusted everything, and everything's ready, okay? So, if something's done and dusted, it's a British, maybe a little bit old-fashioned way of saying something's been successfully completed. So, there we go. Another video done and dusted. If you enjoyed it, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.